Hey, Wilson Morales from Black Women TV talking to Crystal on her new series, Zatima. How's it going? I'm wonderful. How are you doing? Good. So how long into Sisters did you know they were trying to put a spinoff together starring you? I think the, um, the seed was planted in season, I guess it was season two. Season two. Yeah, the seed was planted in season two. Um, Deval and I were sitting on the set of Fatima's apartment on Sisters and Tyler walks in the room. We were running lines and Tyler walked past us and he goes, I like this and just kept kept walking. He saw something in that moment and uh, we both looked at each other and we we're like, we're going to get our own show. <laughs> we just did you really it. think it was going to happen? Did you really we think did. it was going to happen? It's, honestly, Deval called it when we started rehearsing during quarantine before we even filmed season two. As he was reading what Tyler had written, he was like, Crystal, he was like, I can already see where this could go, you know? And um, we, the power of manifestation. So you have to be careful what you see because it just might come true. Now, obviously throughout Sisters, this couple has gone through a lot of trials and tribulations trying to get their stuff together. And Mm -hmm. it's funny with Zach, he was always this guy that never had his stuff together. But now through you, He's getting there, which is not easy for the other characters on the show. What are we getting with this series? Um, wow. So you, with this series, you actually get a, a deeper look into Devout, into, into, sorry, into Fatima and um, Zach's personal life. You get to meet our families. You get to meet our friends. Um, we dive into a lot of the issues that we haven't dealt with um, when it comes to the decisions and choices that we make as adults. And um, I think that's something that rings true for a lot of people, which is why therapy is so important. And um, while a lot of us are pressing that we need to deal with certain things, but you actually get to see why Fatima makes certain choices, why Zach makes certain choices. And we really dig deep and try to fix those things. You know, with, others, with the other characters on the show, why do you think this particular couple stood out to the point where Tyler said, I can make a spinoff as opposed to taking one of the other characters who originated Sisters. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I cannot take any, I can take the credit for working my butt off and making sure that I came to work prepared every single day and did everything I could do to make Fatima an amazing character, but it's the fans. Um, The fans had Fatima trending every single Wednesday night and I really think that they are responsible for why we got a spinoff show. Like we, Deval and I work really hard and anybody who knows us can, can say when it's time to start studying and preparing for our season, we literally shut everything down. Every day we have time blocked out where we're going to study from this time to this time. It doesn't matter. We always make that a priority. And I'm um, not saying that anyone else doesn't do that, but I know what we do. And I feel like it showed and the fans just took to it. And then for you, you know, your journey to becoming an actress, how do you feel now knowing that you're number one on the call sheet, you have more to do on pages as opposed to coming in. It's part of an ensemble. This is a lot more, I would say pressure because you're now a pro at this. How do you feel? It's still pressure. <laughs> it's still pressure. Um, first of all, I just said, I feel like I'm living the quote where you say, I can't believe this is happening or my dreams really came true. Um, Or even the quote, if you work hard enough and long enough, it will happen. I feel like I'm living that right now. Um, But it is, it's pressure um, to lead a show, but I couldn't have a more amazing partner and um, in DeVal. So, and my cast, cast is, freaking amazing um but it's a lot you know after we just finished filming season um some more episodes I'm not I feel like it's still season one but we finished filming some more episodes and at the end of it Tyler called me he's like I know you're exhausted and I was like oh my goodness I just need to sleep for like a week because it's a lot it's a lot to memorize it's a lot of emotions your body is going through a lot you know we shoot out of order so in one scene, I may be happy, and then the next scene, I'm crying. And then, so having to tell your brain where to go for different emotions and to pull from that, it's exhausting. And your body's like, girl, what are we doing? <laughs> so it's, it's definitely a big difference. And like I mentioned before, you know, it all starts with the chemistry with you and DeVale. 
you know, mm-hmm. from the get-go, as you, as you mentioned, you know, fans have been cluttering social media is about this couple as opposed to the other shows that, you know, obviously Tyler sees something he knows, he believes. And mm-hmm. how has it been with you and DeVail? Like, how long did it take for you guys to get connected to feel so that um, we are feel it? Yeah, I think um, we had about, I want to say about three months to live with season two scripts. So we had a lot of time to really develop the characters and figure out little nuances. We were very, very particular about um, doing, we bring what you would have in a real relationship into our relationship, whether it's, we have nicknames for each other, you know, or you may, when you're mad, you may call them by their full name. We had these different moments where we make sure it feels real to the audience. And I think those little nuances definitely make a difference. But we had about three months to really, um, build those characters and re- build that relationship to where people are like, okay, we believe this. Will we, will we see other members from Sisters appear in Zatima? As of now, no. This um, Zatima is solely focused on Zach and Fatima and their personal circles. So we're exploring that, but yeah. um, you never know. This is all in the world of Tyler Perry, so anything could happen. And then when you're not doing the show, what? how do you stay humble now that you have this big fan base? You know what? I am from a very small town in Tennessee. I'm from Martin, Tennessee. And um, I've always been a girl that walks outside barefooted, feet to the ground. And I think that just remembering where I come from, keeping family close, I'm really close with my family. And my upbringing my parents always raised me to be humble to be kind and that's something that has never left me and it's just a part of my dna and who i am so um, one thing i i take as the biggest compliment when when i meet people or people who know me all my life they're like you're still the same crystal and um i i always want to keep that that's the biggest compliment for me so just knowing where you come from now, do you pay attention to your social following? And do you answer your fans back? Oh, absolutely. I'm nothing without them. So I always make a point to make sure I answer them. I don't have, if I try to answer every person, I would be on my phone all day. So I'm trying to, you know, kind of balance that out. But I do, I definitely engage with them. I make sure that I take time to make sure that they know that they're being heard and that they are appreciated because there is no sisters, there's no Fatima, and there's definitely no Zatima without them. I can't hear him again. Oh, yeah. No. Um, and at the end of the day, obviously, with so much programming on TV, mm-hmm. uh, what's a good reason for people to watch the team? You know, we have so many streaming channels, so many networks and cable shows. You mm-hmm. know, what's going to get this audience to watch that if they have not watched Sisters? You know what? That is a great question. Um, first of all, our show is super relatable. Um, I was saying it's funny. You're going to laugh. You're going to cry. Um, you're going to get angry because some of these characters definitely push your buttons. But I think that just seeing um, a couple, a black couple that love one another, that are really trying to make it work is something that that the world needs and that our community definitely needs. So um, between that and, I mean, what else would you watch? You know, you, you need to be watching it, people. <laughs> it's been great talking to you. Obviously, we wish the most success. Keep it going. Hopefully, we'll talk season two. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Wilson. I appreciate it. Take care. All right, you too.